Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, y'all. Call me like a cherry pony. Call me like a cherry pony. Your boy done switched up on you. Call me like a cherry pony. Is it on? Mm -hmm. Is it on? Is this recording? Okay, yes it is. Okay, here we go. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, y'all. Yes, look, if this is your very first time in this channel, run over that subscribe for us. And after you subscribe, make sure you hit that notification bell besides the word subscribe so that you will be notified each and every time that we upload a video. And then welcome to this great, 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 great family. Now that you're part of us, there's some things that we do. And we do them every day because they help us grow. Those things are comment, Comment, comment like a share and don't click for the team. Comment like a share and don't click for the team. Comment like a share and don't forget to comment like a share. Comment like a share. Comment like a share. Don't forget to comment like a share. Comment like a share. Comment like a share. Don't forget to don't get to comment like a share. Okay, you guys, check this out. We're going to pray. We're going to get into the goodness. Here we go. Hey, man. How y'all doing today? How y'all doing today? How y'all doing today? Over to the side. The pin is in the building, y'all. There you go, there you go, there you go. The pin is in the building, y'all. There you go, there you go, there you go. Let's see if he's nice refreshing. <sighs> he is, you guys, today, Little Ben has the diet, the sunkissed orange in him today. I don't know if y'all can see that cheese in the thumbnail, but it's there. Anyway, you guys, today for the food, baby. I told you we was going a little bit more healthy for the next couple of days. So, here we have lettuce wraps. We barbecued today, y'all. We barbecued. The weather is perfect in my neck of Atlanta. Anyway, so we got some barbecue hamburgers. We got some barbecue uh, smoked sausages. Right here, I've got fried eggs. This here is fried pork jowl. Mmm, mmm, mmm. So crispy. We got lettuce, of course. We got red onions. We've got pickles for the hamburgers, the slices. And we got pickled spears. We got slaw in the middle. And we've got cheese back here. And what we got? Let's get to eating. All right, let's get to eating. I want one of these smoked sausage first. I want one of them first, baby. Ooh, I'm smoking too. Mm-hmm. I wanted it first. Now let's put up some slaw up here on it. Let's get us some slaw up. This homemade slaw. Well, out the bag anyway. Out the bag anyhow. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then I got a little mustard over here, y'all. And I'm going to put it on top of him. A little mustard. A little mustard here, y'all. Ooh, yes, 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 yes. Mm-hmm. There's the first one. Oh, can I get it up there for you? There you go. That's the first bite there, y'all. Mm, 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 mm. Mm, mm. Mm, mm, -hmm. mm, mm. That's good. Mmm. 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 Y'all good. Mmm. Can you see it? Mmm. That's good, y'all. Mmm. 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 -hmm. Mm -hmm. So how y'all doing today? Mmm. -hmm. How are you doing? Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. Mmm. -hmm. Mmm, 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 and it's a healthier way. Mm. You know, without the bread. Mm, 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 mm. 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 It's just healthier. Mm. It's here is. Okay. I'm going to get one of these bigger pieces of lettuce here for the burger. Mm. Let's get one of these, him. Look how thick it is. A glory. Mm-hmm. 
All right. Now let's build this burger. I made sure that the lettuce, I mean the slaw, was a little soupy, you know, to make sure I didn't have to have like no extra mayonnaise and stuff to go on it. I put up some cheese on there. Well, I'm probably still gonna have to have some mayonnaise, but we'll see. Let's put some pickles on that junk. Hey, pickles on that junk. Mm-hmm. Some red onion here. Let's get some red onion. Y'all know we got to have the onion. Got to have the onion. Hold on, one more piece. Got to have the onion. Mm. Get up that onion there. Stay up there, boo. I'm going to have to build it in my hand, y'all, because it looks like I'm getting too much stuff on it already. And I haven't even begun. Okay, let's get us a piece of the hog jowl up there. Mm -hmm. Let me put two pieces up there, y'all. And then, where our fried egg at? Let's get us a fried egg and put up there, too. Woo, y'all. Are we going to make it? Are we going to make it? I'm going to try to let y'all see it right now. Oh, get over there. Hold up, y'all. It's a lot on there. Okay, look. So, this is what we're working with. If I can get it flipped over there. Y'all see? There it go. There it go. <laughs> now, let's see if we're going to be able to do this without any mayonnaise. Any Miracle Whip anyway. Let's see. Oh, y'all ain't got no slaw on that, Joan. Hold up, y'all. Hold on. I'm sure I'm going to need some Miracle Whip if I don't put no slaw on them. I am. But I'm just going to put it like... We went somewhere one time and we had a burger like this and all the slaw was up in the middle. <laughs> but then when you go to biting on it, it spread out. So we're going to see what this is going to work with. Nah. Nah, then, y'all. Nah. And we still going to put the fried egg up there on that, y'all. Now you see it. You see it. You see it. And put us another lettuce on the top. And that's what we working with. Oh, there it go. Mm-hmm. Now let's go. Uh-oh. Uh my hog jaw was finna stick me in the throat. Oh. Mm. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -hmm. That's good. Mm. Mm. Hey, hog jaw. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. It's so crunchy. Mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Mm. 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 Baby, I'm gonna start to fill out. Mm -hmm. Slow them fill out. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Mm -mm. Don't worry about it. Mm -hmm. But the flow is definitely gonna be mad. Mm. Y'all ain't still falling. That's all right. Mm -hmm. That's all right. Mm. I dropped a piece of hog down. That's what dropped. That's all right. It's good. Mm-hmm. Mm. I guess I'm just going to eat my hog jowl on the side, y'all. Mm. Because it ain't going to stay up in there. Mm-hmm. Mm. But it's definitely good. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm. 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 Yeah, it's good. Mm. It's something about that egg. Mm. On the burger. Mm. That fried egg just gives it some extra. Mm. Mm hmm. Well, I just recently mm, started eating fried egg on the hamburger. And because the egg was originally running, but I changed it because in this lettuce wrap, I didn't want egg yolk running all, you know, all on my hand and stuff and look gross. Mmm, 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 mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm, mmm. Then the down. Daddy. Mmm. Mmm. Why didn't you tell me where it was? Mmm. That's good. The egg do something to it. Mmm. I really do. Mmm. It adds, um, like this 
mm, texture to it. Y'all know the bite. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm, 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 mm. Y'all, that was sauteed mushrooms and sauteed jalapenos that didn't make it to the plate, y'all. There was so much stuff here already. Mm-hmm. But when I'm out the camera, mm, 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 mm. Fried hog jar, let's put that in. Mm-hmm. Mm. When I get out the camera, mm. Cause you know we don't barbecue. So mm, I have those to eat with my other burgers. Mm-hmm. So how y'all been doing? How have y'all been doing? Have y'all been doing all right? I hope so. Y'all look at this. This was a big burger already. And them patties. And I was supposed to be doing double cheeseburgers. Oh. Mm, 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 mm. Y'all, y'all see that? You don't want to cooperate today. That's all right. It's going in my belly, for sure. Mm-hmm. I was supposed to do double cheeseburger. Ain't no way possible I couldn't pull that off. It just ain't no way. Mmm. Ah. Mmm. 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 Y'all, it's good. Mmm. 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 That's good. Mmm. So. Mm. I'm gonna ask y'all a question. If you are a parent, mm. Mm -hmm. I'm talking to parents only. Mm. Grandparents, anyone who is at this very moment, mm. 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 responsible for the well being of a child. Uh, get back up there. Mm. 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 Do you know where your child is? Mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. If you are responsible for a child, mm. do you know where your child is? Mm. 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 Yeah, I was looking up. I was watching part two of the surviving R. Kelly. Mm. Mm. I watched part one when it came out. I didn't even know there was part two, y'all. But I ran about it. Mm. So I was watching that, which probed me to um, look up like the, um, what is it called? The thing they make them do, the um, sex registry or sex offenders registry in my area, um, where in my county, because I couldn't find it by city. I had to find it by the county. And y'all in the county, where we stay in. Oh, excuse me out. Hold on. In the county where we stay in, y'all, there was over 400 sex offenders in this county. Now, I don't know exactly what all has to be reported or, you know, whatever, but there is 400 people that have either been found guilty or pled guilty or something in the county that we stay in that are registered sex offenders. And that's to go without saying that if you just really think about it, that everybody may not even be registered. So do you know where your children is? Here you go. You want to bite? 
You want to buy? There you go. Um, do you know where your children are? Do you have an open line of communication with your child or children? Mm-hmm. 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 Y'all, mm, 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 mm. there was a lady that was on, mm, like a doctor or maybe a journalist, I'm not sure, that was on uh, Surviving R. Kelly Part 2, that she was a lady, you know, that was a founder. She started the Me Too movement. Mm. That lady just said something. Mm. It really made my mind think. And therefore, I wanted to bring it to you. And that was, the lady said, from birth, and this is true, I know it to be true. From birth, African American community, y'all know how I am about my OCD. Hold up. My bad. My bad, honey. Don't worry about it. Uh, what she was saying was, in the African American community, from birth, we teach our little girls, and we do, cause I do the same thing. We teach our little girls, you cannot sit in men's laps. Men are not supposed to touch your tata or your private area, whatever you want to say. Because the last time um, I said something about, well, I do talk to when I talk to my little girl, I call it a tata, but. She does know what it is. She does know what the real name of it is. Oh. Mm. 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 But as a father, I don't feel, um, I'm not going to say comfortable, but I just feel like it's less vulgar. Um, look how it's out top. And she definitely knows what that is. Okay? So, We teach little girls from birth. Keep your legs crossed. You know, yeah, you know, my little girl is here and she has her night nightgown or whatever. Yes, who stay with a nightgown? <laughs> it's all sleepers, you know. Um a lot of people say that nightgowns are old school, but it's all right. My daughter still wear. Mm, 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 mm. But we teach her, if she got a nightgown, if a man comes in the door, or, you know, anyone that's not a part of our family nucleus, you know, my husband, myself, and my daughter, go put some shorts on, or go put some clothes on, you know, we do teach them that from birth. We do. I'm on this weekend of the African American community because that's the community that I'm a part of and that's the community that I grew up in and I do know what happens, you know, and how we do things, okay? So, with that being said, um, we teach them that those things are wrong, that if you don't do these things, then you're wrong, that if you don't follow suit you know, when men come around or whatever, whatever. You know, we teach them these things unconsciously, but we never do tell them that if things happen or if something happens, y'all just presentation is driving me crazy. Anyway, but that if something happens, that it's not their fault. You know what I mean? We teach them it's wrong to wear a gown without shorts on them when there's a man around or it's wrong to sit in a man's lap or it's wrong to let people touch your private part. We always tell them the wrong things about this particular situation, but we never let them know that if some of these things happen to you, it's not your fault. That's the reason why I try to make sure that I have a, I mean, when I say a line of communication, I want Pooh to know that she can come and tell me anything and everything. I do. I don't ever want her to be afraid to come to me and say, this happened to me. <laughs> you know, I never do. And y'all, you've got to have some type of action plan. Some type of, um, 
you know, if this happens, this is what you you do. You know, even with the school system, you know, I teach my daughter that, you know, when she was going to school face to face, um, if something happens to you at school, if some little boy or little girl or a teacher or anybody, don't be ashamed and do not conceal it. If something happens to you, you get to your cell phone and you call me. If you, if you, I mean, I don't care what has to go on. I don't care if you got to get up in the middle of class and walk out of class and go get your cell phone and call me. Or walk out of class and take your cell phone and call me. Or even better yet than that, if you can't get in touch with me, because definitely make sure I know first. You know, make sure that me and production know what's going on with you and that this has happened to you. Because we're going to defend you at all costs. You can believe that. We are on the way. You hear me? But with that being said, even if you can't get in touch with myself or production, get in touch with an administrator of the school. You know what I mean? Tell a teacher, tell a principal, tell somebody. Do not conceal when things are happening to you, especially in the area of bullying, in the area of, um, you know, you've been sexually violated and stuff like that. You have got to make sure that people are in that people that are in the places to protect you know what's going on because most of the time y'all especially when it comes to sexual exploitation or sexual abuse y'all our children don't know what to do they don't know what to do so if a person says well if you tell this and i'm gonna kill your little sister they have no plan <clears throat> they don't have any plan they just love their little sister or they love their mother or their father or whatever it is that the sexual predator tries to tell them. Mm. Mm. You know what I mean? She knows. I don't care what to say. I don't care if they tell you. Man, if you tell that, they're going to kill me. You let me worry about me. It's my job to protect you. Not your job to protect me. No matter what they tell you, uh, your daddy gonna go to jail. I do not care. Do not allow anyone to mistreat you, you know, and you not tell someone that is in authority in an authority situation um, to help you in whatever that you got going on. Yeah, that's something that we need to think about. We need to talk to our children about. Mm. That hit home. Even though I know I do go through these processes with my child, when I was hell. Ever since she discovered that she did have something down there, you know. But it's something to think about. Do you have an action plan? Have you really talked to your child about sexual predators? You know what I mean? And even if just to say, not even just all the way sexual predators, that is a big one, but bullying. You know what I mean? There's a lot of children around here being bullied so bad they don't even want to live. Don't want to go to school. Don't want to do a whole lot of things. And you as a parent, you may not even know. Mm. But that line of communication is not there. Which, me, myself, and I, I don't understand not having a line of communication with your child. Now, in some cases, I understand some children are just difficult. And they're difficult to reach. I get that. And that's when you get professionals involved. You know? That's when you get other family members that you trust not to ridicule them or not to put them down. That generally want to try to help them. That's when you get them involved. At any time, if I can't reach my child, I want somebody to. I want somebody to, y'all. So many times in life, our children go through so much. And they go through so many things they go through senselessly because of the fact that you don't want nobody in your business. Well, I understand you don't want nobody in your business, but the, the safety of the child has got to come first. The safety of the child has got to come first. Mm, mm, mm. Mm-hmm. And as a parent, I always want to keep my child safe. I always want her to be safe. I always want her to let her know. I don't care what it is. 
I don't care what you've done. I don't care what's been done to you. You can always come to one of your fathers. And we're going to be on your side, baby. Mm. So once again, do you know your children yet? Do you know what they get? Because most things that happen to me, y'all, they happen because we don't know where they at. We don't know what they're doing. We don't know which friends house they're supposed to be at. We don't call them and check up on them because we trust them in. And that's always good. You should trust your child. You know? You should. Within limits? Within limits. We really don't. Within limits. Blindly trusting a child, never will I do that. Also, I never say my child won't do. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't know what that I know what I have taught her to do. I know what her track record would be. But I can't say what my child wouldn't or would not do when she's not directly in front of me or under my care. I don't know. You know, a lot of things when it comes to our children, y'all, we set our own children up for failure because we think we know it all. And we don't. Don't let your child be caught up. Mm, mm. In a life-altering situation. And there's not a line of communication between you and them. And they can't come, they can't come and tell you. I always let them know it's okay. Mm. Even if they can't get to you, call the police. Find somebody in authority over them. Or someone that they trust that they can relay this information to. So if your child is not left out there without a plan. Mm. Baby. I don't know. It just kind of stirred me up. Like I said, I didn't even know it was the part too. But that lady, when she said that, it just really touched me. And I really thought about it. You know, how many parents out there, really and truthfully, don't have a plan with their children? Or ashamed or feel like it's not time Wait a minute. Mm. I feel like they're too young or it's not time to talk to them about sexual predators and stuff like that. You know what I mean? Oh, it's definitely time. Anything past the age of, especially four years old, five years old, when they know that there's something down there, you know, it's time to get to talk to them. No, uh, believe it or not, my daughter, when she was young, every time that she left my presence, when she came back home, I don't care who she with. I always asked her, has anybody touched your tata? You know what I mean? <coughs> I always asked her to make sure that she was comfortable, that if something happened to her, that she could come and talk to me about it. Like I said, do you know what you're cheering at? Something happened to your child and you haven't given her a plan. The law may say it's somebody else's fault. But guess what? Guess whose fault is really going to be? It's really going to be yours. Talk to your children, guys. Let them know that there are sexual predators out there. Look it up in your area and see how many are around you, honey. You know what I mean? Because it may you may have a, a safe false, I mean, a false mm, sense of security. And... You know, they next door to you. Because when you look it up, it's going to show you that picture. It sure is. When you look up the sex offenders in your area, it's going to show you a picture of them. You know what I mean? That is something I feel like, even as a young lady, I'm going to show my child. I'm going to show her. You know, because these people are in our area. If you see this person and something seems strange, stranger danger, stranger danger. You know, whatever. You know, but check it out in your area. And make sure that your child has a plan. Make sure there is enough of a line of communication between you and your child. That if something is happening to them you know, ad that could adversely affect their life, but they can come and talk to you. Okay. But uh, make sure that they know there is someone or that they have someone to talk to. Oh, don't worry about calling it. Don't worry about it. I'm talking about something important about our children, our future. Okay. So, anyway, y'all, and make sure. Like I said, what the woman was saying was you let them know that, yes, we've taught you how to be a lady. We've taught you all these things not to do. But if something happens, it's not your fault. It's always the grown person's fault. No matter what, it's always the grown person's fault. Make sure they know that. 
it's always the grown person's fault, okay? So anyway, I don't even know how much I ate, y'all, because I wanted to make sure y'all y'all heard it and y'all got that. I love y'all, love y'all, love you. That's why my presentation wasn't looking right, because I've been had this up the whole time. See there? Oh, anyway, I love y'all, love you, love you. I love you guys so, so much. I truly do, and I hope you guys have enjoyed whatever we do. Hope you have enjoyed. So I'm a new legion. Thank you guys so, so much for being here. We truly appreciate each and every one of you, because you didn't have to be here. You could have chosen to be the rest in the world. But you chose to be right here with us, and we love you for it. So I'm existing Legion. Hey, right around we go. Hey, right around we go. I love you guys so so much, and I'm gonna see you guys next time. Okay? Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, y'all. You guys look. Oh, always remember that there's always more than one way home. All you have to do is get there. So get there, people. Get there. We love you all. And we're going to see you guys next time. And if you're not going to watch me next time, you have lied to me. And I know you lied. Period. <laughs> bye, bye. Y'all, talk to your children. Like I said, all the wrong that we teach them that they do, they've got to know that the adult, the grown-up, is always the one that's wrong. Because if you tell them if this happens, this is wrong. You this happens, this is wrong. You sit in a man's lap, that's wrong. Da, 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 da. So if that does happen, if a, if a, if a, if a, if a grown man put, does happen to put your little girl in his lap, or young man, whatever, whoever, cause um, sexual predators, when, when especially pedophiles or whatever, but those children need to know that if this does happen, the grown person is always the one that's wrong. So you don't have to conceal this. You need to tell this so I can protect you. Okay? You need to tell this so that I can protect you. Make sure that you let them know that if somebody says that I'm, I'm going to do something to your mom bad, if you tell them that I'm fondling with you or I'm touching you here, make sure that they understand you can still tell mom. You can still tell dad. And we just can be our secret together. And we can still find some way to protect you. Talk to our children, y'all. They're our future. I love y'all. Bye-bye.